Hello guys, it's your boy Master Light with another stupid ass video. And we are talking about Emacs again, like we always do, because I have nothing to do and it is my new favorite toy. Uh, do you guys remember the time when I used to make shell scripts videos? Oh my god, the shell scripts are not fun anymore. We are doing Emacs and Lisp videos from now on, but I don't know Lisp. Okay, I'm going to talk about RSS feed today. So RSS feeds are the better way to consume content because, con you know, the internet is stupid, the modern wave is bloated, everything sucks. So what we do is we use e uh, RSS feeds and RSS feed readers to, you know, keep uh, notified of the content that we want to consume and not be thrown, not be blasted by millions of ads, millions of distractions, and all the stupid stuff in the internet. Oh my god, capitalism has made internet stupid. So, what do we do now? I wanted to use RSS feeds, but uh, let's say I did, did not want to learn new stuff. Because, I, uh, you know, using new programs, it's so stupid. I can do everything in Emacs anyway. So, what did I do? I searched in the internet and found out about a package in Emacs called e ELF Reader or something. ELF, oh, EL Feed, okay? And if we hit enter, you can see the RSS feed that I have properly. Now, what do we do? So let's say, and, and I'm going to tell you two different reasons to for me to use this EL feed instead of other uh, uh, stupid, crappy RSS feed readers. So first, why is this good? Because this is Emacs, I already know how it works, I know all the key bindings, uh, I can, you know, uh, keep it you know, I can be in my workflow, even though I don't have any work, because I am stupid. But anyway, I'm unemployed, but let's say I was working. Then I could always be in my workflow. Now, what do we do? Uh, and I, did, I would not have to leave my workflow. Uh, I would not have to work around stupid ass key bindings. Uh, and I, didn't, I, I won't have to go around changing those key bindings so that they fit me. So what do I do? Now let's say I want to search for something everybody likes. Okay, let's say anime. Boom. Okay, what? Search. How is this? Oh, plus anime. Let's see something about anime because everybody likes anime. Oh my god, everybody are kids nowadays. I'm 18 already. I just turned 18. I don't know. A month ago. Yeah, exactly a month ago, a month and two days ago. Okay, uh, now we want to watch something and we go and we can go down. Now, there are two things that you can do in Emacs. First things first, you can just go in and hit enter to the link and open that up in your favorite web browser such as Mozilla Firefox which is the best web browser that we have today if we are, if you are using something else you are not doing something right I, you are doing something wrong I don't know English is not my native language it is, this is a stupid Anglo language why should I learn this oh my god okay we're done I'm done I'm done okay uh, now what do we do now so uh, but there, there's something really cool about Emacs because you can just do uh, I'm gonna show you really cool drum roll I'm not gonna edit drum roll in but whatever if you do GY uh, it's a sent to MPV right here and oh my god we have our stuff a podcast a YouTube video in MPV oh my god this is amazing. How did I do that? How did I ac accomplish all of these things? All of these feats? Let's say I'm going to tell you. Because Emacs is pretty amazing. 
and the workflow of Emacs is also amazing. So let's get back to normal. How did I do that? So if I go to Emacs read mode and search for EL feed right here, let's go boom. Oh my god, let's search for EL feed again and we can go to EL feed functions and make evil and EL feed play together. There is this thing, this function in Emacs called EL feed show visit. This function is supposed to visit your EL feed in your favorite web browser. Well, how do you do this? So how do you do this? I'm sorry, I had to pause it a little bit so that I could do my stuff. Okay, so how do you visit something? We can. Uh, I'm going to show you. It is basically, um, I don't know. You just go um, this thing and if you do GB, this is basically EL feed visit or something. Okay, you get the point. So this is what uh, this EL feed show visit does. Now, because we're using Emacs and Emacs is self-documenting, this is something we need to know. Emacs is a self-documenting text editor or Lisp environment. So what we can do is control H F to see for a search for documentation of function and search EL feed show visit and we hit enter. Well, let's keep this only. So if we go down a little bit, we see the source code, the actual source code. Now, why, uh, you know, why can I see this source code? It is thanks to a package in Emacs called Helpful. I recommend you guys to install this package. But anyway, we know exactly the source code. Now we can actually change how this function works in Emacs, okay? This is such a power. You can change how, you know, very basic functions of Emacs works. But we're not going to change it because, you know, I do not know a lot of Emacs Lisp. So we're just going to copy all of this. Well, I did copy all of this and uh, pasted it somewhere here, exactly here. And I changed it a little bit. So control W, let's make it vertical. Okay, this is a stupid split. Control X1, control W split. And uh, control X B to go to the function. Control X minus to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, I don't think you guys can see this. So we're just going to make it big for now. Okay. Uh, and we can put it like this. And, you know, we can have these things a little bit bigger. Now. Look at these things. They are very similar. This says define function. It, it we have our. It is. They are both interactive. And these part, exactly this part, I changed it a little bit. I removed the if statement. I don't know what that if statement did. I didn't understand it, and I just uh, did the same thing and got the link and message instead of sent to browser. It is sent to MPV. And we did an asynchronous shell command because Emacs is, as we all know, unfortunately, only single threaded. Oh my god, I hate this. But we can, you know, use asynchronous shell command and we concatenated this with MPV. So MPV is supposed to open the link instead of the web browser. And this is very good because MPV is very minimal and you don't have to see that stupid website in your life I hate it but anyway this is how it works and I actually edited it could you do this in your other stupid ass up uh, not operating system stupid ass RSS feed readers no you couldn't because for me configuring and using everything is done in a single programming language which is Turing complete and which is Lisp because Lisp is amazing we can do anything so this is it. We have finally used an RSS feed reader. Uh, I don't know. Let's just uh, 
uh, go and just keep that one only and we can always do our stupid stuff which is fun well we can search for something let's search for reddit which is a uh, uh, not something that I really like uh, and you can look at what people are doing and uh, uh, you can you know actually read the stuff uh, it's uh, uh, and uh, and basically if you go to some uh, you know say I am quite involved in some tanky subreddits as those uh, as other people call because uh, I'm an 18 year old and this is my favorite Okay, the video turned into a meme review after that point, so I cut that part of the video out. I hope you guys had fun watching my video. And uh, to us, the most important part of about computers are fun programs and fun in programming. Basically, when using computers, it must be fun. You know, playing video games is not fun because you can't do everything that you want to do in them uh, programming is very fun in my opinion and computers must be used like that computers must be fun this is probably what Terry A. Davis said he was a bit of a far right person and not far right he was just sick okay guys he was just sick and a bit too much religious and uh, he probably spent a lot of his time inside for in not inside in 4chan so I you know that's obvious but you get the point uh, he was a great programmer and he you know one of his points was we have to have fun and I believe in that uh, so uh, this is it I'm not going to review Temple OS pretty soon Okay, have a great day guys and let's have fun using computers and our tools.